from reading, from reading your biography, yes. I, 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 came, I came to the conclusion that you're a man's man. And, um, you mean gay? <laughs> a, a real man. A real man. And I think manliness of that kind is, is um, not as in vogue as it used to be. Um, you know, there's, there's less manliness today. Women, people, women seem to want more sensitive guys than, than the real men. And when I... When I... Um, are you, are when you, I, are you, are you no, I kept, I, kept, <laughs> I kept reading about you, and I got drawn back to Kipling's poem, If. Right. Which is a huge compliment to you, and I'll, I'll come back to yeah. that. But I'd like to go on to your athleticism, and your fitness is an important part of your life. I'm a huge important part. Um, I, uh, I mean, yeah, when I smashed my cartilage and tore my uh, crucial ligaments, uh, back in plaster for nine months, released at the age of 19, and mum and dad came through a horrific divorce. I went back down to um, Oxford to live with my sister. And so, you know, I've got a level of fitness in me, um, and in this game today, it's not just, you know, working the line or 16, 17 hours a day, but stamina. Uh, I, I, I can't work at this rate for the next 20 years, that's obvious, but now at 42, I think I'm in better shape than I ever was. And, you know, not just going back to the book, but. The whole idea, the inspiration behind Healthy Appetite was to understand that food can be just as exciting um, healthily without being boring. But I was a fat chef once. I mean, I, I was 18 and a half stone, 238 pound, and I, um, I ran my first London Marathon um, nine years ago. And my father-in-law said, look, you know, you put weight on, you're getting irritable, and you're, you're becoming, uh, you know, obese. And I wanted to do something about it. I just stepped out independently. I borrowed two million pounds from the Bank of Scotland and uh, up to my eyeballs in pressure. And I was trying to think of a way to release that pressure, to work hard for lunch, work hard for dinner, but to find a, a room that I could sort of, you know, release that. And running was my sort of, I suppose, my, uh, my exit really. But you, uh, you said that you wanted to run 10 consecutive marathons before you were 45. Uh, well, yeah, well, I've got my 10th coming up next month. And so that'll be the yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it works. I mean, what's, what's more impressive than that is that you've run comrades. Comrades, yeah, five. Five that's, comrades. You've done five? Yeah, three up and two downhill from, from Durban to Rootsburg. Is that right? Yeah. Well, comrades, for those who don't know, is a double marathon up and down uh, in South Africa. I mean, that's, you are a real man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> have you been so, watching Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> I'm now starting to shit myself. <laughs> um, you don't have to worry. Uh, but, uh, so with your busy schedule, do you have a gym at home? Uh, um, how do you stay uh, in this remarkable shape? I mean, I, I, uh, I, I, work, I work really hard. Um, wherever we are, um, whether it's a, a 5K run or a 10K run or even a, a bike ride, so uh, even sit-ups, you're not getting up at crazy hours in the morning, but um, I tend to run more in the evening because that's when I can rebuild an appetite. Because when you're around food all day and you're in the kitchen, you, you don't eat. Any chef here this evening would, would be lying if we turn around and told you we sit down and eat dinner before we cook dinner. But tomorrow morning at, at the hotel, will you will you go down to the? Yeah, no, I've got a seven o'clock, six thirty now. Sorry, six thirty start, uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll do a ten k, which puts me in the right frame of mind because I'm active and I'm alert and. Um, the first 20 minutes is sort of uh, groggy, but then you just you, you, you run through the chain. So you'll go tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, yeah. I, I landed, Outside? Uh, I'll check on the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Chefs are a little bit wimpy, because we're used to the heat all day long, so it's like, I saw a flying in the <coughs> Christ, I landed at 4 o'clock this afternoon from LA. Jesus, it's white out there. I haven't even got a jumper. So, uh, I think I'll go to the hotel gym tomorrow morning.